for? I was one basket away from wiping up the driveway with you. The Saturday morning preview special's on now. Come on, we gotta watch it. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. We stopped playing b-ball to watch cartoons? What are you, nuts? Not cartoons. State-of-the-art animation. Cartoons. I don't do cartoons. So I guess you didn't see the biggest movie of the summer? Which one? You know, that lion thing? I loved it. Cartoons. You mean they weren't real lions? Do real lions sing? I don't know. I don't live in the jungle. Well, do they sing at the zoo? They're self-conscious at the zoo. Everybody's staring at them. At night, they sing. How do you know? It says so in that song. The lion sings tonight. The lion sleeps tonight. Sure, because he's tired from singing. <sighs> Come on, let's watch the animation. What's in it for me? A food. Don't toy with me, Corey. No, I'm serious. Real food. And lots of it. Come on. Come on. Nothing healthy at all. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Major snackage. Yes. The ABC guys sent us over all of this food. And in return? Well, we watch the new Saturday morning shows and tell everybody what we think of them. Do they send everybody who's watching food? No, they send everybody who's watching us... us. Oh. Hi. How are you? Cool. We're TV critics. Paid to eat and watch TV. It is our own little slice of heaven. It's too good to be true. There has to be a catch. What is the catch? You gotta watch with me. Ah! It's the ABC Saturday Morning Preview Special. Starring Ben Savage, Will Friedle, Ryder Strong, Danielle Fischel, and Lily Nixay from Boy Meets World. And featuring the ultimate new 3D adventure, Reboot. Free Willy. The creatures from Bump in the Night, and the rest of the ABC Saturday Morning family. It's a whole new level of fun. Get ready, because the fun begins right after these messages. It's a whole new level of fun. I've got a craving for Kellogg's Fruit Loops. I love that fruit taste. I'll find who can them and make them taste me to that yummy taste. You know, a fruit taste? That's my name. Fruit's my game. Look into my eyes and take me to Kellogg's Fruit Loop. Don't use your eyes. What? Use your nose to get that beautiful taste. <laughs> well, just follow your nose. <laughs> to the berry, orange, lemon, cherry, and lime loops. <laughs> Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal with berry purple, a fruitful part of this complete breakfast. Mmm, fruitfully delicious. Yes, worth hanging around for. Hey, Dr. Barbie. Here's the doctor and her cutest patient. Isn't she sweet? Dr. Barbie's gonna listen to her little heart beat. It's really beating. Gonna give her a shot. Put a bandage on her scrape, uh. gonna check out her ears. <laughs> doctor makes her feel great. <gasps> Baby loves her doctor, Dr. Barbie loves her too. I'm gonna be a doctor just like you. Dr. Barbie doll comes with a baby patient and a stethoscope that makes a heartbeat sound, all not for use in some fashions. It's a whole new level of fun. For Megabyte Fun, check out Life Inside the Main Frame of Reboot, premiering next here on... ABC. Tuesday after Full House, it's a special preview of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's new detective video. We'll solve any crime by dinner time. Tuesday here on ABC. We now return to the ABC Saturday Morning Preview Special. Hi, Topanga. I was watching you guys on TV and I saw that ABC sent food. ABC, awesome bags of chips. Want to watch the Saturday morning preview with us? It's all the new shows. Thanks. Wait a minute. Something's different about you. Yeah, you're sitting in front of me and I can still see the TV. We're not doing a show. This is what my hair really looks like. I like it. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I like it too. You know, you should keep it that way. Can I do that? Sure, I'll talk to ABC. I'm very tight with it. I mean, they don't send just anybody food. Would everybody be quiet? I want to watch Free Willy. The movie? The cartoon. It's a cartoon now? Yeah, and with all the same great characters. Come on, get with the program. What program? This one, silly. All right. Yo, Willy, let's go.
Something's wrong. Trouble's back. If that rotten whale shows up, I'll take care of him too. <laughs> I knew he'd come back. Yo, Willie, let's go! Okay, Morgan, what do you think? Big hit. You think so? Giant whale, cute kid. Do I have to draw you a picture? I can't wait to see more. No, Jennifer, we can go out tonight because we're not doing the show this week. Yeah, our new episodes don't start for two weeks, so I am free till then. <laughs> what do you mean, Corey and Sean are on? Uh, it can't be possible. I mean, they're sitting right here. Oh, my gosh, I'm on now, too. Um, yeah, look, I'll pick you up right after this, okay? All right, bye. <laughs> Hi, guys, what are we doing? Saturday morning preview special. Well, thanks for telling me. Well, if you get off the phone once in a while... Didn't you get a script? No, but I'm good on my feet. So, what's next, sis? Reboot. Reboot? I, I love Reboot. It's my favorite show. I watch it all the time. Oh, yeah? What's it about? I, I mean, I could tell you what it's about, but I, I don't want to spoil it for everybody. Why don't we just all watch together, okay? Pretty smooth. That's why I'm the big brother. Enzo's Override Delivery Service, anyone, anywhere, anytime. Hi, it's John Luke. Is this Dot's data compression takeout? No, wrong number. <sighs> hey, Enzo. How's your new delivery service coming along? Oh, great! This huge! Seriously, act. I was written for this format. I'm going multi, quality, major even. I'm crunched along at high bottom, and proud of it. Call me whenever... Enzo? Yes? We're glad to hear it. Yeah. We'll be downstairs if you need us. Bob's going to mend a tear that showed up after the last game. Okay, coolness. Enzo's override delivery service. Anyone, anywhere, anytime. Enzo. Mega breath? Uh, I mean, megabyte? I understand uh, you have a new delivery service. Well, it's not exactly new. If you call 31 nanoseconds new, you can count on me. This may be my first after school function, but also thought that I'm big enough to handle... Take this package to Hexadecima, but whatever you do, don't tell her who sent it. No problem, Mr. Bite. <laughs> I mean, I did it. I received my very first order. Congratulations. Well, got a zip. I wouldn't want to be late to hexadecimals on my first delivery. Hexadecimal? <laughs> did you say hexadecimal? Yeah. Why would anyone send a package to hex? Better access what's inside, just to be safe. Glitch, x-ray. Looks like a mask with a clock in it. I wonder if there's a market for something like that. Can I go now? Enzo, I can't let you go to Hexadecimal's Island. Huh? Oh, sir, I know what your problem is. You don't want the competition. You don't want me to succeed. Enzo's the little brother format and Dot's the big businesswoman who... No, Enzo. It's too dangerous. She's right. Lost Angles is no place for a little sprite like you. I'll never be as cool as Dot. Oh, come pile up. Act your age. There's a simple solution to every problem. Bob, you deliver the package just this once. So many moves. So little time. How good to see you, Scuzzy. What have you got for me? 
a delete command, masked as a mask. She'll never know what erased her. Now all I need is some unsuspecting fool to deliver it. Like this poor boy. Delete me, will he? I'll delete him. And his delivery boy, too. <laughs> Why do I always get lost in lost angles? There's nothing worse than having to ask a null for directions. Well, almost nothing. Ah! Hexadecimal. I didn't expect it to be. You. I have a package for you. A package for me? Whatever could it be? A mask. What a shame. I already have one. You'll have to return it to Megabyte with my regrets. Megabyte sent this? You know, returning things isn't really part of my function. Have a good one. I said take it back. Hexadecimal on the ground. Bob should get to Megabyte's tower just as the clock reaches zero. Oh, I'd like to see Megabyte's face when his own time delete bomb goes off. Strange. That looks just like Bob. No! Stop! Ugh. We gotta warn Bob that the mask he's delivering is really a bomb! Megabyte's bomb! Enzo, Enzo, slow down. Now, let me get this straight. The package from Megabyte is a bomb, and Bob has no idea. I see what you mean. We've got to warn Bob. Well, there's still a Bob to warn. <laughs> there he is. Thank goodness he slowed down. Oh, no. Not now. The green chick, the computer babe. Her name was Dot. Makes you want to try computer dating. What's going to happen? Do you think Bob and Enzo are going to crash? We'll find out soon. How did they get it to look so 3D? Oh, it's computer animation. It's very complex, high-tech, cutting-edge kind of stuff. How do you know that? Please. I mean, I've read a lot. I take courses. <laughs> I got a copy of the script during the commercial. <laughs> We haven't had a commercial. Yeah? What do you call this? Don't go away. There's more ABC Saturday morning preview fun yet to come. Think Captain can survive the attack of the hungry mutants? Only that tasty yeah, crunch yeah, can yeah. help him now. Captain, yeah, more crunch. Just call me Crunchinator. <laughs> Didn't your mom ever tell you to crunch with your mouth closed? <laughs> mutants today. Quick, send us the warp speed. Talk about warp. This guy's totally bent. Here, crunch this as part of your balanced breakfast. Yum. Mega crunch effect. Oh, mega score. Mega bite. <laughs> McDonald's Happy Meal Workshop! Here's how we put the happy... Happy Happy Meal! Cool. There's fun in everyone! Happy's how you feel! We feel happy! Works every time! <laughs>
Imagine if you could explore the ocean. Look, class, a school of fish. Look, a school of children. Now you can dive into the fun with McDonald's Magic School Bus Happy Meal Toys, like the Undersea Adventure Game. One toy with each Happy Meal you buy. Ready to dive? Mm -hmm. What? An octopus with one shoe off. <laughs> Bunny and I were mixing up some quick when magically we were in the spaceship of the terrible Chuckometron. It's taking your chocolate. Oh. Quickle changes program. It's chocolatey quick. <laughs> Oh, Nestle Quick, it's magic in the making. Hey, you like Reese's Cups? Definitely. That peanut butter and chocolate taste? It's great. Yeah, especially when you eat it with a spoon. A spoon? Introducing Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. So you do it with a spoon? It's new. It's a breakfast cereal. It's got a peanut butter and chocolatey taste like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And now it's part of this complete breakfast. New Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. Reason. You eat with a food. And now, back to the ABC Saturday Morning Preview Special. So, Morgan, what do you think so far? Very cute. Big hit. I'll be watching all season. But those were commercials. They weren't previews? No. Well, when's the next preview? No, Stacy, they're running commercials. I'm, Jennifer can't see us. Look, she's never even going to know I'm talking to you. The only person on TV right now is me. Have I ever told you guys what a wonderful and understanding girl Jennifer is? That's going to be for me. I'm going to take this in the kitchen. It's going to be extremely loud. What's the next show? Uh, Bump in the Night. What's it about? Well, it's about these weird little creatures that live under your bed. I don't have anything living under my bed. I do. Mostly moldy pizza boxes. And that would not be a very interesting show. Oh, yeah? Honey, boys and girls, it's time once again for What's Under Sean's Bed. Hey, little kids, it's my good friend Jim Socks. I'm not impressed. Let's watch Bump in the Night. Okay. <laughs> Wild green guy living under the bed. I got to look the sock before you turn your head. Like a boat, the light. I make a hard jump. My name is Mr. Bumpy. I can bump, bump, bump. Yeah, bump, 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 Bumpity, yeah, he goes a hundred pounds an hour, he's green dynamite. His name is Mr. Bumpy, he goes bumpin' the night. You can bump with the doll, bump with the bug. Bump on the ceiling, a bump on the rug. And you can bump too from the east to the west. To bump with the monster, you love that bump. Bump, bump, bumpity, yeah. Everybody bump. Bumpity, bump. 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 yeah, he goes a hundred pounds an hour, he's green dynamite. His name is Mr. Bumpy, he goes bumpin' the night. My name is Mr. Bumpy, I go bumpin' the night. It's the perfect place to hear the music.
don't try this at home. Corey, what are you doing? I'm doing Mr. Bumpy. Look. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's no Mr. Pizza Box. You know, this stop action stuff is harder than it looks. But, well, if that's the way you feel about it, Jennifer, there's really not much I can say to change your mind. Except that when a man is called upon to host a Saturday morning preview special, it puts a lot of pressure on him. Hello? Hello? Jennifer? <laughs> oh, we, we were just disconnected. She'll be back. <laughs> Shall we clear you a place on the sofa? Yeah, would you? You know, if you spent more time watching cartoons, you wouldn't have these girl problems. Thanks, Morgan. So what are we up to? Well, so far we've seen Free Willy, Big Hit, Reboot, Mega Hit, and Bump in the Night, Monster Hit. And now we're going to see a rundown of the entire Saturday morning lineup. Cool. Well, here's the phone. If a girl calls, I'm not here, okay? I'll be taking all the calls. <laughs> Jesse on land, every word he says, will he understand? <laughs> Watching out for other folks, this live little crew ain't no joke. Yo, Willie, let's go! Well, it's Bob and Dot and Enzo too, in a computer controlled by you. Now, Bob keeps the bad guys on a run, for hard drive action reboots the one. Why, thank you. It's a whole new He's purple and green and under your bed, Mr. Bumpy's real and not in your head. When it's late and you turn off the light, you better watch out for Bump in the Night. Just what I needed to make me feel better. Yo, the Crypt Keeper will scare up thrills with brand new shows that'll give you chills. The witch and the Vault Keeper are his friends. With them around, the fun never ends. <laughs> Here's the 411 for major fun For classic tunes, Bugs is the one Hey, he's the bunny with all the moves When he's on stage, that's your groove It's a living It's a whole new level They live in the hood with ghouls and goats Drop on in on the most whack host ever a double d a m s The Adams family is hilarious Affirmative It's a whole new level Based on a book that you all know The weekend special is the bomb show Turn the pages of this match You book have the best adventure that you ever took Are you ready for some fun? The whole new level It's up loud for your Saturday It's the whole new level Marker This message sponsored by Kellogg's All of me I can be when I was little, I had no confidence in my reading. Then, I went for tutoring. Now I have more confidence in reading. I read faster, and I know more words. Once, in third grade, my friend came out with this book on skateboarding. I was like, wow, it looks cool. It told me how to do all these crazy tricks. I learned a lot about skateboards. Even to walk down the street, you need to read. Or to get a job, or to order parts for your bike from the catalog. You need reading to live in your everyday life. Now I'm a tutor. I help kids in first and second grade with reading skills. It feels good to know that you've helped a little kid see how much fun reading can be. When I read, I learn to be all of me I can be. Go away. There's more ABC Saturday morning preview fun yet to come. How I love those yummy sweetened puffs of wheat. Oh no. Oh kitty. Oh yo, kitty. Now for Kellogg's Max, the taste is out of this world. Uh oh. You can make Kellogg's Smacks part of your complete breakfast. Oh, it's bath time for the kitty cat. Hmm, Smacks, I dig them. Ow. Shark! 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 We're happy for a shark, Miss Myself. Hungry! We're happy for a shark, so we bring Chef Boy I.B. Tasty pasta and tomato sauce that's a shark hunt in every bowl. Catch the new Mako and win! Yay! Thank goodness for Chef Boy I.B. Shark! New Mako Shark! Now you can own Disney's smash hit movie D2 on video. It's knocking everybody off their feet. 
But this time, they're taking no prisoners. Kind of makes you feel all warm and tingly inside. It's the one movie you can watch again and again and again. Yeah! It's the hockey movie event of the year. Emilio Estevez, D2. The Mighty Ducks are back. Now you can bring them home on video. Rated PG. Quack attack is back, Jack! Well, would I lose if I tried it once? You'll lose your family, your, your friends. friends. You'll lose weight. You'll start looking muggly. And now, back to the ABC Saturday Morning Preview Special. That was the greatest ABC Saturday Morning lineup in the history of the world. Right, Morgan? Where'd Morgan go? She went to phone her friends and tell them the entire lineup. Can't you remember all those shows? Well, I can. You can? I can. Prove it. Okay, let's see. First up there... Crow, followed by Sonic the Hedgehog, followed by Free Willy. Exactly. And then there's Reboot, followed by Bump in the Night, followed by Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Hey, I'm on a roll. And then the Bugs and Tweety Show. Right. And finally, Adam's Family, followed by the ABC Weekend Special. See? I knew them all. But what happens after the ABC Weekend Special? Well, you know, you go outside, you get some air, you... Get a life. And this professional bowling? We'll tape it for you, Sean. Ma'am, what a great lineup. What a great season. And a great new season for our show, too. Uh -huh. Yep. Lots of changes. I mean, Sean and I are in high school now with Eric. What, you guys are in the same school with me? Yeah, isn't that cool? No, not cool. I mean, I want other changes. I want to be in college and in an all-girl dorm, all gymnasts from Sweden. And all they know how to say is, yeah, Eric, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and while we're making changes, why don't we change the title of the show to Sean Meets World? How about we change it to Boy Meets New Best Friend? Why don't we leave it the way it is? Boy Meets World. Big hit. And you can see the shows we just previewed coming up next. So watch all the new ABC cartoons. Or else we did this for nothing. Well, we did get the food. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> This is ABC. How about that firewood? We need some more heat in here. Did you see anything out there, Dr. Singh? Anything large, white, and furry? Bill, forget the abominable snowman and shut the door. Ha! This room would be muy caliente in no time. Goodness, I hope the smell of smoke from our fire doesn't frighten the huge snow creature away. Now, Phil, there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of any such creature. We're here to see a much more impressive and real phenomenon, the northern light. All I see out there is northern dark. Whoa! This window is freezing. There's a lot of cold coming into the glass. Uh, no. Actually, there's a lot of heat going out through the glass. Oh, Phil's right. Heat always moves from hotter stuff to colder stuff. Some things, like that thin glass, let the heat move out easily. They're called conductors. But heat moves much more slowly through some other things, like these thick logs. They tend to hold heat in. They're called insulators. I don't get it. <laughs> Neither did Crow, but he learned quickly and in the process built for me the most wonderful creation that I still remember to this very day. Phil fell into a glacier It was like a big deep freeze But he was brought back to life To his surprise in the 20th century So listen as Phil takes us back To wonders of long ago And weaves a tale of Bully Phil And an Ice Age boy named Crow We'll be right back. Ooh, Crayola, Crayola jumps. With new jumping colors markers, you can draw a picture with the special markers 
Then you can use the UC3D glasses that come in the box. And jumping colors, it turns 3D. Almost jumps off the page. Another picture. Use the UC3D glasses and jumping colors, it turns 3D. Oops. New jumping colors markers. Crayola, Crayola jumps. From Crayola. Be a wheel watcher. Watch Wheel of Fortune tonight. After the festival, we'll be right back. This is the top speed pipe fight set. Yes! Can you make it through the pipe? Too fast. Let's see that in slow motion. Do it again! This time, aim your launcher to make them crash. Pipe fight, pipe fight. You control the fight. Pipe fight. Hot Wheels Top Speed Ultra Pipe Fight Set comes with two cars and launchers. For use only with top speed cars. You put it together. Could you speed it up a little bit, Mojo? I'd like to shower sometime today, please. Oh, what's the big rush, Dale? The guys are just spouted. There's plenty of hot water for everyone. It's not as if it's suddenly going. <laughs> Stop. Goodness, that tremor must have affected the source of our geyser. You don't mean... Yes, I'm afraid our trustworthy geyser is busted. Busted? Well, just look at me. I'm covered in soap. What am I supposed to do? Rinse off in the ice-cold river? Hmm? This is an outrage. Well, at least it's just soap you're covered with. I just completed a full-blown mud wallow. Refreshing, but terribly messy, as well you know. You do look pretty filthy, Phil. And you don't exactly smell like a bed of roses, either. Why, if I didn't know better, I'd swear there was a human present. Uh oh Time to get up. up. <sighs> Everyone up! It crows birthday time! Oh, oh, birthday time is almost here. It comes this time every year. Got no presents, cake or stuff. Happy song is just enough. Happy, happy. Oh, what matter? Crow know like Nandy's birthday song? I'm sure I love it. Just as soon as my ears stop ringing. But my birthday isn't for three days, Nandy. How come you're singing today? Yeah, how come? This is not any birthday coming. This Crow's growing up test birthday. Oh. Growing up test? What's that? To prove Crow ready to grow up, must ride on back of Mammoth for count of ten. Mammoths hate to be ridden. Wow, tough test. How did you pass it, Og? Og never pass growing up test. Why am I not surprised? Og not have to. Clancy leadership quality when Og baby. Big muscles. Big forehead, big mouth, big <laughs> Only one way to pass test. Sneak up, jump down, hang on, hope for best. Right, Gog? Gog set record. Stay on for count of 12. Only break six bones. Well, there must be a better way than that. Has anyone ever tried asking a mammoth for a ride? Gog not. Uh-uh. Never. Nope. I think I might be onto something here. Can you fix it, Phil? No, I'm afraid it can't be fixed. Oh, no. I was really looking forward to a nice hot shower. Go! Phil, are you okay? Don't ask. I'm filthy dirty, the geyser is broken, I've smacked my knee with this tool, and my generally cheerful nature is deteriorating by the minute. Other than that, I'm uh, having a wonderful day. Hey, Phil, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> how's it going? You want to know how's it going? Did I come at a bad time? Oh, don't take it personally, Crow. The geyser is broken and Phil's feeling pretty low down and dirty. Oh, I'm sorry, Crow. I tell you, I would do anything for a nice hot shower. Anything. Anything? 
Okay, Phil needs a hot shower, right? So I'll find him one and... Wait till Phil has soap and eyes, then jump on and ride. Not exactly, Gog. I figure if I find Phil a hot shower, he'll repay me by letting me ride on his back. Where Crow gonna find hot shower without Geyser? Well, you know that hot spring halfway up the volcano? If I bring that hot water down the hill, Phil will get his hot shower and I'll get my ride. Crow never gonna ride mammoth that way. Oh, expert on never riding mammoths. <laughs> Nandy like Crow's plan. Want to help? Okay. First, we'll need a lot of bamboo. <sighs> what matter with Og? Uh... Crow's growing up test bring up deep, unresolved feeling of inadequacy in Og. That what Gog thought. But Og ready now. Og gonna take growing up test. Og gonna ride Mammoth if it last thing Og do. Og gonna die. guys a stoppage. I wouldn't be at all surprised if it weren't some kind of human conspiracy. Why don't you like the humans, Earl? They really are very nice. <laughs> nice, but a little weird sometimes. One, two, uh, oh yeah, three, thank Bob. Can you talk to me, you impudent hooligan? Huh? <laughs> Og okay? Could be worse. See? We did it, Nandy. Now let's open her up. Well, how is it? Not too hot. What? It's not hot at all. So where'd all the hot go? This is weird. The higher up I get, the warmer the water feels. Oh, and the more tired Nandy get. <gasps> I believe that was our cue, Mutt Rat. Right, boss. Let's go have some lunch. Mary. Your brainlessness is preceded only by your stupidity. What I do, what I do? The leader always goes first. That is why he is called the leader. Now, I'm confused. The water down there is hardly warm at all. But the water up here in this trough feels a little warmer. And the water way up there at the hot spring is really warm. So water at top hot, water in middle warm, water at bottom. Yeah, the water's losing its heat as it comes down the hill. Somehow the heat is moving out of the water and into the air, I guess. I would not overly concise myself with that if I were yous, since yous are in enough hot water as it is. <laughs> I'm gonna force <laughs> hot water. Gotcha. <laughs> After the we'll be right back. Well, if the stove's not working, then how can we finish my happy meal? Well, 
use our backup system. Back up. A little more. How's this? Fine. <laughs> it works. I love having a dragon around for emergencies. Call me if you need me. Excuse me, but you have a chicken on your head. Take my camera. I'd like a picture of that. Mama's <laughs> Wacky Muppet Workshop puppets are at McDonald's. Swap their hats. Change their stuff. One with every Muppet Workshop Happy Meal you buy. Can you play my favorite song? It's not polite to sing with your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. His video cam sees everything. Yes, but can he see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's famous. Zoom in on this, Pop. There's swirls of cinnamon and sugar sparkling all over every bite. For an intense taste any kid can see. <laughs> cinnamon Toast Crunch, part of this complete breakfast. That? Oh, let me see that box. Hey, Mickey Mania video game stickers free. One set in each specially marked box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What does the ghost wear to a formal party? I don't know. Give up? A boo tie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me trick Fred out of this Cocoa Pebbles. Huh? Stop, Flunch Rock! Behold my latest creation, Cocoa Rockies, the chocolatiest cereal ever. More chocolatey than my Cocoa Pebbles? Ah! Prove it. Mmm, chocolatey, super, Mundo Pebbles chocolatey. Now, try your stuff. <laughs> Youch! Barney, my Cocoa Pebbles. It's time to rock and roll. How's Cocoa Pebbles cereal? Part of this complete breakfast. How do you make s'mores? Take a Hershey chocolate bar, graham crackers, and a marshmallow, and then you mix it together and you get a s'more. Not like that. Take the two graham crackers, put them on the outsides of the marshmallow and the Hershey bowl. No, that's not it. <laughs> lots of graham crackers, lots of marshmallows, and lots and lots of Hershey bars. No matter how you make s'mores, make sure you make them with a Hershey yeah, bar. But you can put them together any way you like. <laughs> when others ask you to do drugs, what do you say to them? No way. I respect my body, man. I'd rather stick anchovies in my ears. I don't want to look and feel like this. Take a chill pill. Next, there's a prehistoric mystery at the Museum of Natural History. There is no ghost. It's a dinosaur. The ABC Saturday special, Crash the Curiosaurus. Sunday, it's an hour of laughs with an uplifting double episode of classic video moments, plus some that have never been seen before on America's Funniest Home Videos, Sunday here on ABC. Now Crow was truly in hot water with the dire wolves, while his hot shower project had turned totally cold. Spare me the bad puns, Bill. Finish the story. What happened? Well, Crow's bamboo pipes and open troughs didn't do a good job of keeping the heat in the water. They let the heat move out into the cooler air, you see? No, I mean, what happened with the dire wolves? Oh, well... Ow! Man, that thing got hot. Of course it did. That iron poker, like most metal, is a good conductor. The heat traveled quickly up from the hot end of the poker to the cold end, then into your hand. Of course, there is a way to protect your hand. An oven mitt. That ugly thing? I'd rather burn. It's an insulator, not haute couture. Very effective, too. What's an insulator? What's a haute couture? And what happened to Crow and the Dire Wolves? One question at a time, please, Mikey. First, the Dire Wolves. Do not take it personal that we are about to attack you. We are just following our predatory agents. Get away from here, you mongrel! Get! Go on! Hey, Nandy, look at that. They're afraid of a little water. We got lots of a little water. <laughs> What a disappearing trick. How wolves do that? The wolves didn't do it, Nandy. The hot rocks did it. And if the hot rocks can help us once, maybe they can help us again. You see, Nandy, as the bamboo pipes go back and forth over the hot rocks, the hot rocks heat the air. The air heats the bamboo pipes, the bamboo pipes heat the water, and ta-da! A nice hot shower. It's hot, but it's not nice. Yeah. 
I see what you mean. At this rate, it would take hours for a big guy like Phil to get washed. Oh, man, just when I thought I had this licked. Now I'm really stumped. Nandy, have idea. You do? What? You think this Nandy's first one? Oh, of course not, Nandy. Let's hear it. Well, first we get big pot. Nandy, this is great. Nandy, have a moment. This will store up plenty of hot water, and Phil can have a shower whenever he wants. Nandy, when it's full, run up and close the floodgate. I'll go find Phil. Nandy really have to run? Oh, Crow, please. Can't you see I'm crankier than a saber tooth with a cavity? Trust me, you'll love this. What keep you? Nandy wait long time. Mr. Mud Monster here needed a little coaxing. But boy, is he gonna be glad he came. Ready, Phil? One, two, three! <laughs> what? Too hot? Not exactly. Ah, it's cold! But, 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 when I left, the water in the tank was steaming hot. Well, it certainly cooled off. Well, not surprising, since it's been sitting in this open tank for hours now. Oh. <laughs> this stuff sticks me. God. Put tree sap on all sitting down part. I'm gonna stay on Mammoth back real good this time. Hmm. So, time and half of this. Now, Crow, Nandy, listen. If you want to slow down the loss of heat, you must insulate. Okay. You real dirty and smell bad, too. <laughs> that could insult? <laughs> Not insult. Insulate. Insulate. It's how you try to keep the heat from moving from hotter stuff into colder stuff. Oh, just forget it. I'll try to explain it some other time. Man, what a grouch. I ought to just jump on his back right now and take my chances. Ah! Oh, good heavens, what now? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sorry. How I do? Got to count of six this time. Progress. Still want to take chances? You know, I think I'll give this insulation thing a closer look. Good morning, Crow. Happy birthday. Oh, hi, Pekka. Birthday? Is it my birthday? Yeah. Have you been sleeping here all night? Oh, I guess so. I was trying to figure this insulation thing out, and I must have drifted off. Then he must have built this fire to keep the wolves away and covered me with this straw mat to keep me warm. You should have asked me about insulation, Crow. It's easy, really. Certain things let heat move through them quickly. Other things... Like this straw mat help keep heat in. Of course. Come on, Paka. We got work to do. Well, if you knew, why did you ask? Ah, it is a new day, a new beginning. The fire has died out. The water will be avoided, and our hunger shall no longer be denied. That is beautiful, Puss. What does it mean? It means that either we get the humans today, or you will suffer the consequences. Gog ain't time for Og to quit. Og never quit. Og be like Crow. Use brains to pass test. Buk, 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 Buck, 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 buck. Oh, God, man, it's back. Buck, 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 whoopsie. Buck, buck, buck. Woo. And just what are you supposed to be? Me just bird. Land on mammoth back. Pick up bugs. Uh, buck, 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 buck. You are a blight on this land. Now go away. He off. No, he back on. <laughs> One, two, he off, he on! One, two, he off, he on! One, two... Tank full with hot water again. And now that we've put these thick straw mats around it and a lid on top, it's fully insulated. So the water should stay hot for a good long time now. Great. Let's go get Phil. Sorry, ah! but you and me had a previous engagement. <laughs> Do not even think you can drench us with water again, for something now stands in your way. Yeah! Uh, what exactly does stand in his way, boss? You! You fleet-bitten fathead! Oh, yeah! Get off, you scurrilous scurd! Oh, okay, that's it! <laughs> <laughs> 
Will be pretend to enjoy eating you. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go find Phil and give him a nice hot shower. What about Og? He can shower after Phil. Come on. <laughs> Unbearable. There you are, Phil. I've been looking for you for hours. The hot shower works perfectly now. Come on, you gotta try it. Well, why not? My day is totally shot anyway. Oh, mine, 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 good. Shower, oh, mine, mine. <laughs> See? I told you it worked. Oh, goodness. You really have done it, Crow. Oh, please, can I take the next shower? Please, please, please. Oh, Crow, I'd do anything for a shower, anything. So you mentioned. Crow's birthday almost up? Crow ready? Ready. One, two. Uh, I wouldn't do this for just anyone, you know. I know, Phil. Thank you. I'm gonna pass test. If it lasts, thing, I'll do. I'm never gonna ride mammoth. You know you bipeds are laboring under a false assumption. It's not that we hate to be ridden, per se. No. We just like to be asked. Good heavens! When will you humans learn that good manners and a polite request are often all that's required to get a mammoth's full cooperation? Excuse, Og, but if it not too much trouble, could Og ride Earl, please? Oh, dear. When did you humans learn how to learn? Oh, come on, Earl, be a sport. He did ask politely, and at least now you can shower when it's over. <laughs> Take two things you like. Play the pool in your very cool room. Put them together. Bonus. Talk about a waterbed. Now there's a taste that has it all together, too. Introducing Eggo Cinnamon Toast Waffles. Cinnamon Toast and Waffles together. Bonus! A psychedelic puzzle with cinnamon sweet pieces. Eggo Cinnamon Toast Waffles are a part of a complete breakfast you can't wait to dive into. What a lifesaver. New Eggo Cinnamon Toast Waffles. This taste has it all together. Ah, uh, we're here to clean your room. We'll use our backup system. Back up. A little more. How's this? Fine. <laughs> it works. I love having a dragon around for emergencies. Call me if you need me. Excuse me, but you have a chicken on your head. Take my camera. I'd like a picture of that. Mama's <laughs> wacky Muppet Workshop puppets are at McDonald's. Swap their hats. Change their stuff. One with every Muppet Workshop Happy Meal you buy. Can you play my favorite song? It's not polite to sing with your mouth full. <laughs> He was lost until a boy gave him a home. We have this dog, and she don't even know how to sit. Now, together, lost in a vast wilderness, they found the friendship of a lifetime in an incredible adventure. You got six senses, right? Come on. You'll never forget. Come on. Far from home, the adventures of Yellow Dog, rated PG. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Morning. Now, cookie crisp. Uh oh. Buddy gets away with my cookie crisp. Yes. Another opening shut case. Cookie crisp. An exciting part of this complete breakfast. Cookie crisp. Awesome. In specially marked boxes of cookie crisp, there's collectors' caps you just can't miss. They're Bobby's World. You get six free in every box, and they look like Bobby. There's four sets to get only in Cookie Crisp. Cool. Last night, Lisa Watson got higher than she's ever been. And the only thing she took was first place.
Sunshine. It won't be long now before the northern lights appear. You're not too cold, are you, Mikey? How could it be? That sleeping bag is nice and toasty. Technically, Phil, the sleeping bag isn't nice and toasty. Iron. The bag's just insulation that helps keep my own body heat from escaping. I think I'll go inside and grab some insulation for myself. Okay, Dr. C. There he is! Hey, what are you doing? What is it? Is it the abominable snowman? It was him! He just disappeared into the trees! But no matter, I have the abominable snowman on film! I must show Dr. C! Are you all right, Phil? My abominable snowman pictures. Don't fret, Phil. It was probably just a trick of the light anyway. The creature just doesn't exist. Mirale, the northern lights. Awesome. Spectacular. You know, Dr. C, you were right. It was probably just a trick of the light made me think I saw the creature. But who needs an abominable snowman anyway when Mother Nature gives us this? Wednesday, when Tia gets a tattoo, Lisa practically jumps out of her skin on Sister Sister. Then, Margaret tries to find privacy in a basement apartment. Don't miss All-American Girl. Can an overly curious dinosaur survive in a modern-day big city? Stay tuned and find out on the ABC Saturday special, coming up next. This is ABC. I want to. What? What? If you want to be cool, helmets are the rule. He's the all time party animal. Let's do the mambo. And he's letting it all hang out. This I gotta see. Open the night today on ABC. Saturday, it's a scrumptious blast from the past. On we go. It's an ABC movie treat. All of my dreams become reality. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Saturday on ABC. Connects. Connects Roller Coaster. Connects Trucking Company. Connects Rubber Band Racers. Connects the color-coded construction set that keeps on growing. Sets sold separately. the Hedgehog will be right back. Mighty Max, Mighty Max, there's still some danger waiting for you. Mighty Max, this is Spider's Dungeons too. Mighty Max, get out soon. Or you'll meet your doom. Each sold separately, bonus figure included while supplies last. Attack back. They're bad. They fight. They live to fight. Attack back. Dark Claw. Grizzler. Big Bones. Sliminator. Attack back. Each sold separately. Collect them all. Unleash the beast. Ronald McDonald, we want you to film this movie. <laughs> oh boy. Good thing I have this magic movie kit. Quiet on the spot, camera. It's rolling. Action. Cut. We need to read the script first. <laughs> Bernice Anders. Oh, oh no. no. But what's our movie about? Let's take an x-ray. There's a clue. The letter K. Anyone know a word with the letter K? Yes, as in kiss this movie goodbye. To be in the year 2119, man will face his ultimate challenge. 
His greatest adversary is his own creation. Genetically engineered mutants. More intelligent, more resourceful, and more powerful than they ever imagined. Now, there is only one hope for the future of mankind. That's just a sneak preview, folks. Exo Squad. Exo Squad, Sunday morning at 10 on TV44. Hello. My name is Smokey Bear. And this is my home. A place for you to climb. Sleep. Watch. And play. As long as it's not with matches. Only you can prevent forest fires. And now back to Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. some money. No, that wouldn't be right. You gotta let me do this, Sonic. Okay, but be careful, you hear me? A paper route. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. This should be no trouble. Just to the end of the street and I... Whoa! This is gonna take forever. It's not fair. Sonic would do this in a second. Hey, that gives me an idea. It's hard to aim at this speed. Look! Oh no! Okay. Uh oh, better put the speed into good use. Uh-oh, not again. <laughs> oh. whoa has got a blow. What on Mobius was all that about, Tails? I'm sorry, Sonic. It won't happen again. I promise. Are you trying to make some money to do something for me? Uh... Look, doing something for a pal doesn't need money. 
What I really want is to have you safe. Maybe Sonic's right. But how am I going to get a present for free? City dump, huh? Hmm, maybe... Wheels! That's a good start. But what else? Wings! That's it. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog will be right back.
Okay, so your folks may act a little weird when they see you've got Stimpy's invention, the new Ren and Stimpy game for Sega Genesis. So tell them it's the only game where Stimpy's mutatomatic invention explodes and warps the town, spreading giant flamingos and twisted lawnmowers everywhere. And you can be Ren or Stimpy, and team up for crazy cartoon powers like the Boomerang and Chopper Pilot. Hey, it's cooler than Powder Toast, man. I just hope there's none of those disgusting hairballs. Stimpy's invention. New for the Sega Genesis system. He sold separately. Now, class, P is for... Pizza, pizza. Oh, pizza, pizza, po, pizza, banana, banana, po, pizza, me, my, mo, me, sa, I do it, pizza. Crushing Optimus Prime under power sound treads. Transforming from battle tank to robot. Blasting Prime with lock and load cannon. Listen to the voice of two. Transformers Generation 2. Megatron is all you see here. Optimus Prime sold separately. Who has busy birdies and little gerbils? Swingy monkeys and peekaboo turtles. Who has all these little pets for you? These pets look different. That's because they're new. The little is touch up. That's who. The little is touch up. Pets and place that each sold separately. Catch the wave. Rev them up. Kick it into gear. No matter how you jet over, the Rescue Rangers will give you the ride of your life. So hang on to your seat. Drop in on Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Sunday morning at 8.30 on TV 44. And now back to Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Tails gave me a great birthday gift, but it would also be great to have Robotnik on a silver platter. Ah, so that's why you want us to build this thing. The Robotnik Nabber will smash through that nasty's fortress and scoop him right up, ending his reign of terror once and for some time. And with my genius buddy Tails helping to build it, there's no way it can fail. Aha! They've got the little brat holed up in there with that bumbling quack, Professor Von Schlemmer. You two, make a distraction. I am your sneakiness! <laughs> Whoops! Looks like those two bandits just don't know when to quit. I'd better remind them. Here you are, a direct route down. Great. Way faster than an elevator. Go get him, Sonic. You betcha. Gotta speed, kid. That gets rid of that pesky hedgehog. Now then, a bit of disguise. I always knew this camera scope would come in handy one day. Aha, now with my rocket pack, I'll zoom over there and grab that ladder. Then I guess I'll have to push you out the ladder hole. 
Oh, wait, <laughs> you mean this closet? Imagination, my dear pie. Now let's see what we have here. Aha! No good at all. We need more weapons, more aggressiveness, lasers, stun gas, nets, and above all, more speed. Professor, do you feel okay? You look all bloated and ugly. No time for chatter, boy. Fetch me two dozen foxes. In the Matrix Wrench, now! This machine will be the perfect tool to nail Sonic with. And best of all, his own little friend will help me do it! <laughs> hey, where's the ladder? Hey, how about a lift? No, how about a drop? The professor would never waste a piece of expensive machinery. Something's up, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Or maybe I should get to the top of it. Tail's new invention is real useful. Yikes! Someone's activated the professor's security system. I'm going in. has its points. And now, we'll add a tractor ray to slow down his blasty little fast feet. Are you kidding? Robotnik's not fast. He's a slow, stinky old watermelon. Let me just test this here. <gasps> it works fine, Professor. Good. <sighs> you only live once, and I live fast. Oof. I thought this would be an open and shut job. Hey, open up in there! Sonic? <clears throat> Ouch. Sonic, what are you hanging around there for? Never mind. Just give me a rope before... Whoa! Ah! Ah! Hey, you're not the professor. Brilliant deduction, you shrimpy Sherlock. Oh no! Help, Sonic! My little buddy's in trouble. Time to get this pipe a smoking. <laughs> Don't even ask. Let him go, you egg-headed egomaniac. Sonic? You're too late, Sonic. My, or should I say Tails machine, is ready to roll. I didn't mean to help him, Sonic. I didn't know. Never mind that. We got it. Wait! Wait for me! I want to watch! Do you remember how that thing turns off? I still choose one last part of my diagram! It's a dead end! Hey, Sonic the Hedgehog never says dead! Jump! That gets rid of that thing. Not quite. I added a few optional features to it, like a backup propeller and wings. Ah! 
Enjoyed your flight on Sonic Airways. Our business may be up and down, but we're no fly by night outfit. Oh, uh, Sonic, I'm sorry the Robotnik Dabber didn't work. Hey, no worries, kiddo. I had a great birthday. A little light on the chili dogs, though. So, Tails, will you be staying around to help me with my inventions? No. Being an inventor was fun, but I have to help Sonic in his adventures. Sure thing. We gotta be ready for Robotic when he gets back from wherever he ended up. He's probably at the North Pole by now. Cool. <laughs> 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 Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog will be right back. Change them, change them, color FX! Instant color change cars! Whoa! Change it with warm water. Change it back with ice cold. With color effects, you can paint them any way you want. Color FX! And your designs stay. Whoa! Till you take them away. Fresh plastic waste! Brush off dinosaurs! Cool! Change them, change them, color FX! The coolest in color change. Sold in two packs, not for use with some set, only from Hot Wheels. He's a totally cool cat who's really in the pink. Give us a little smile. Just ask the pink meister himself. Where do I begin? He's very well groomed, quick on his feet, in top physical condition, ah! handy around the house, and ready for anything at the drop of a cat. He's the new color of cool. He's the Pink Panther. Weekday mornings at 8.30 on TV44. Transformation! Jet transformation! The aerial bots are taking their shot! Global Bolt Blast the Chromaticon! They can all change and be rearranged! The former Super Robot Superion! The Chromaticon's the worry! I'm sorry, Rory! Here's one metamorph, Vin Dudegan! They all combine and kick Superion behind as a big bad battle in Brutigan! Generation 2 aerial bots and Combaticons, he's sold separately. Everybody check it, the favorite station. Join in everybody, come on, let's play. Tune into the Goop Troop on every weekday. Hey, 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 h
Wednesday afternoons at 4 on TV 44. <laughs> and now back to Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm bored, Sonic. There's nothing to do. You gotta create your own fun, little bud. Use your imagination. Build something. Gotta speed, key. Great swing, Tails. An astronaut, Tails, to you, Sonic. When you use your imagination, there's no limit to the places you can go and things you can do. Hey, the Pink Panther is next, along with the Dog Father, Pug, the Witch, and Grand. This is ABC. Evildoers. Introducing Super Stretching Superhero Stretch Armstrong. Yes, Stretch Armstrong. Now stretching fun as far as it will go. He bends, he stretches, he even ties in knots, but always returns to his original shape. How'd he do that? No one can figure that out. <sighs> Stretch Armstrong, now a new smaller action figure sizes, each sold separately. <laughs> They say pot is cool. They say it's a great high. They say everybody does it. They say they're your friends. They're pulling your strings. Machine Super Van City. You put it together. Vehicle collection sold separately. Now from Disney's movie adventure, The Lion King. There's Simba. He really roars. Simba and Nala. They're so cute together. They're kissing sweetheart cubs. And each jungle friend baby has a surprise. Watch baby Nala and her friends go wild. It's a jungle out there. Disney's The Lion King, Roaring Simba, Sweetheart Cubs, Jungle Friend Babies, Jungle Playground, and other plush toys sold separately. From the first time you taste your freedom, you hold on, don't let it go. With love and nature clings to life so dear. Sometimes in love, sometimes in fear, we're all here and we're not alone. We need each other Like a sister and a brother And as long as you are free Just as long as you are free With me, my heart has a home Just as long as you are with everything you see here. Sparkling six-pack sold separately. Hey Marlene, look what just arrived. Jesse should see this immediately. 
Whoa, what's the rush? This. Einstein, Einstein. I want you to take this to Jesse. To Jesse. Like we practiced. with the bag. Don't you know it's impolite to talk with your mouth full? Was I right? Did Marlene mean it for you? Is it real important? It's this morning's newspaper. Maybe it's good news. It'll be good news if there's a fish wrapped in it. It's much better than that. Two fish? <laughs> no fish. It says Rockland Stone flees country. Rockland Stone flees country. The billionaires rumored to have taken flight rather than face a federal investigation. Stone's connection with an arms smuggling operation was established in this videotape shot by a local teenager. The revelation cost Stone the recent senatorial election and started a criminal inquiry against him. Joining me now is P.R. Fricky, senior public relations officer of Stone Industries. All these accusations against Rockland Stone are mere speculation based on hearsay and conjecture. Including the reports that he's hiding away in some tropical paradise? Believe me, nothing could be further from the truth. In my revenge on Misty Island, and that kid, and his whale. Oh, coal. You gelatinous goo pile. You can't feel the cold. Four in a row! Let's go for five! I think it's worn out. But we only used it a few times. What a rip! That's okay. This is a day for celebrating. Do you think the machine's really gone for good? If Rockland Stone is gone, that means the machine is gone too. None of the local animals have seen him for weeks. No more stone means no more machine. And no more machine means no more danger. Was that a gunshot? That boat's engine sounds terrible. Let's go see if we can help. Come on, baby. We're almost there. Hey, mister! This is Willie. He could give you a tow. That won't be necessary. Oh, Willie doesn't mind. I mind. I don't think wild animals should be kept as pets. Willie's not my pet. He's my friend. If you were really his friend, you'd let him go free. He already is free. Chill out. Don't let that guy upset you. He sounds like a cold fish. Speaking of which, let's go find some food. Don't tell me that dweeb came here. The stranger came a while ago. 
Randolph is showing him around. They acted like they were old friends. Friends? How could anyone be friends with that? Jesse, I want you to meet someone. Although I understand you two have already met. Jesse, this is Benjamin Shore. He's an old friend. More like a brother. Ben, this is Jesse, the young man I was telling you about. Randolph has told me about your special relationship with Willie. I want to apologize for earlier. That should teach you to mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's famous for sticking his nose in other people's business. Famous? You've never heard of Benjamin Shore, the environmental activist? Are you here to investigate crimes against the environment? No, I was on my way north. I had to put in to Misty Island to repair my boat. The famous Echo Ranger. Not exactly high tech. This old boat has been my command center, my laboratory, and my home for over 15 years. This dent came from blocking illegal drift netters. These are bullet holes left by sea turtle poachers. We've been through some tough scrapes together. Sounds like you could both use the rest. Unfortunately, when it comes to protecting the environment, you can never rest. Never rest. Never. And never smile. Never. <laughs> Whoa! Your target should arrive in this area any day now. After you capture the target, contact me immediately. Fail me, and you'll end up as toxic popsicles. My toes feel cold as ice. What toes as? <laughs> I've got some downtime until parts arrive for my boat. I thought we could do some diving. Thanks, but no thanks. Willie and I have to catch some rays. Randolph's told me all about your fight to protect the environment. I could teach you some things that might come in handy in the future. The environment will have to get along without me. I just want to be a normal kid again. But conditions are getting worse out there, Jazz. The Earth needs help from everyone, especially kids. Don't you get it? We've done our bit for the environment. Willie and I have earned a break. The polluters and the lawbreakers never stop, neither can we. We've all got to keep working together. Get a life. Waste dump. Now you can have your own Lion King talking Simba. You're so cute, Simba. He said things from the movie when he squeezed his paw. I'm gonna be kidding. You are, but there's something you have to learn. Pull his tail. 
I'm working on my roar. Wow, he is going to be king. But what about us? Give him a hug. We'll always be together. Disney's The Lion King Talking Simba says lines from the movie when you squeeze him in five places. It's Series 2 of Magic Works. No fail magic you can master in minutes. Once the skeleton is destroyed, it's destroyed forever. Not with severed skeleton. Mm -hmm. A solid skeleton broken into three pieces. Hmm. I put them back into the magical tomb, place the sword in the middle, and the skeleton is whole. Unbelievable! That's impossible. <laughs> You're right. That's magic. Severed skeleton comes with everything you see here. Other tricks in Series 2 of Magic Works sold separately. Love and Oven comes with everything you need. Cookies? Play-Doh cookies! Don't let anything go! Whoa! With Play-Doh! Play-Doh Cookie Love and Oven comes with everything you see here. Six-pack and two-pack sold separately. Today, in the Arctic Circle, the crew of a nuclear-powered ship, the Polar Breaker, was rescued from open lifeboats. The captain reports that his ship was shanghaied by hostile forces, possibly terrorists. The hijacking of this nuclear-powered vessel has created international concern. A massive search is underway. There she is. Radio the base. Tell them we have sighted the Polar Breaker and are in pursuit. Look what I just found. The National Tattler? Icebreaker abducted by aliens. I was the prisoner of sticky sneezing space creatures? Oh, brother. Look at the drawing. Jesse, isn't that... An infinite. That's an infinite, all right. You've seen one of those creatures? Only a couple of times. Jesse's the resident expert. This describes infinites right down to every gross detail. But that would mean the machine is in control of a nuclear-powered ship. With its reactor and tons of uranium fuel. The idea of nuclear material in the hands of that criminal is terrifying. If the ship's reactor was flooded by seawater, it would spread deadly radioactivity. Anything swimming in contaminated water would get burns and become ill. In the long run, exposure would mutate cells, causing cancer and genetic changes. We need to do something. I thought the machine only cared about money. There's no profit in a nuclear disaster. Unless it's not after money. Then what? Revenge. We've reached Misty Cove, sir. Sir? Maintain this position. We'll wait here. Wait? For what? The polar breaker, you toxic turkey. It's all part of my plan. The icebreaker will be passing directly overhead. When it rams into the Institute, tons of radioactive material will leak into the bay, poisoning all life for generations. From the tiniest snail to the rottenest whale. Breaker has changed course. It's headed into Misty Cove and picking up speed. Warn the residents of Misty Island to evacuate. This ship is on a collision course. Jesse, come quick. We've got big trouble. <laughs> Tie down the steering, then get off that ship. How? Just jump overboard. You'll find the submarine right in the center of Misty Cove. I want a front row seat. I'm giving those do-gooders at the Institute a chance to study radioactive pollution. Close up. Jesse, you're up first.
watch that first step. No one except that. Huh? Watch it. This guy's dangerous. <laughs> to himself. setback. One torpedo should do the trick, so let's fire three! says hundreds of things, and their conversations change as you move them onto different magic discs. This room is a mess. I'll clean it with Scott. <laughs> Let's turn the light on. I'll turn on the water. Time for dinner. I'll help. <laughs> the Talking Family Dollhouse. The Talking Family Dollhouse comes complete with furniture and Talking Family. Batteries not included. This holiday season, don't you wish your stockings were stuffed with Tim Burton's smash hit, The Nightmare Before Christmas? Eureka! Jack Skellington's discovered the magic of Christmas. <laughs> and now he's turning the holiday world upside down. Nice work, Bone Daddy. It's going to be the weirdest holiday ever. Surprised, aren't you? And won't your parents be surprised? What did Santa bring you, honey? <laughs> it's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, rated PG. Now, hold up. You trying to tell me that smoking Lil Wee is going to mess with my coordination? Get off it. Today, I got a real singer for ya. For chills, thrills, and spine tingling stories. Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Today, here on ABC. Sunday, when Josh is stuck with a pregnant lady, can he deliver her baby? I took one shop instead. But I'm your man if you ever need a bookshelf. It's all our own Sunday on ABC. Submarine! 
luck, I can lead this one astray. This is called threading the needle. Willie can't reach it in time. Neither can Randolph. Take cover. <sighs> Breaker has mysteriously appeared in Misty Cove. The pirates seem to have escaped. There were reports of explosions, but no apparent damage to the icebreaker. However, there was a casualty. What's everybody looking so sad for? Thank goodness you jumped off in time. Well, without my boat, it looks like I'm going to have lots of time to spare. Mr. Noggle may have something to say about that. <clears throat> because of the unfortunate loss of the Echo Ranger, we thought the least we could do is lend you the Institute's research boat. I don't know what to say. There's a first. Well, I do want to continue on to the far north, especially now that we know the machine is operating up there. But a boat this big requires a crew. I volunteer. If you're going to be facing the machine, you'll need Willie and me. Besides, if I'm gonna keep fighting for the environment, I might as well learn from the best. If it's okay with your parents, I'd be glad to have you on board. But I'm still gonna need a crew. Where am I gonna find one? Well, it seems like I'm the one in need of a crew. <laughs> Set a course for the Bering Sea. You're in charge until I get back, little bro. Make sure Mr. Noggle doesn't get out of line. You can count on me, big bro. We're off on an adventure. Just what we need in our lives, a little excitement. After these messages, we'll be right back. This holiday season, Tim Allen is Santa. Freeze, fat boy! And Santa's in trouble. Now it's up to the elves. Elves. <laughs> to get Christmas rolling in America's number one comedy. The Santa Claus, rated PG, now play. Sound the trumpets. For the biggest holiday treat of all, The Lion King is back in theaters. It's your chance to see your favorite movie one more time. Do it again. Walt Disney Pictures, The Lion King, rated G. Now playing at a theater near you. Starlight Motorhome has a tent with glow-in-the-dark stars. You put it together. Camp dolls not included. Hi, I'm Gubbly. 
Do you know what to do if you accidentally lose a tooth? If the tooth is dirty, rinse it gently in running water. Don't scrub it. Have a grown-up put the tooth carefully back into the socket. Or place the tooth in a cup of milk or water and have an adult take you to the dentist within 30 minutes if you can. If you do this, there's a good chance the dentist can save your tooth. Tonight, take a journey into the magic world of Chocolate Rivers, Everlasting Gobstoppers, and Oompa Loompas. Gene Wilder's The Candyman in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the ABC family movie. Get ready for a supercharged adventure into computer hyperspace. Reboot is online and heading your way next. This is ABC. Ooh, crayon, a crayon, a jump. With new jumping colors markers, you can draw a picture with the special markers. Then you can use the UC 3D glasses that come in the box. And jumping colors, it turns 3D, almost jumps off the page. Another picture. Use the UC 3D glasses and jumping colors, it turns 3D. Oops. New Jumping Colors Markers. Crayola, Crayola Jumps. From Crayola. Be a wheel watcher. Watch Wheel of Fortune tonight. I come from the net. Through systems, peoples, and cities to this place. Mainframe. My format, Guardian. To mend and defend. To defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams. To defend them from their enemies. They say the user lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! After the festival, be right back. This is the top speed pipe fight set. Yes! Can you make it through the pipe? Let's see that in slow motion. Do it again! This time, aim your launcher to make them crash. Pipe, 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 pipe! Yeah! You control the fight. Pipe, fight. Hot Wheels Top Speed Ultra Pipe Fight Set comes with two cars and launchers for use only with top speed cars. You put it together. Bacon stickers! Fantastic stickers! Fantastic sticker maker lets you create the coolest stickers on the planet. Fantastic sticker! Fantastic sticker maker! Made by me! Fantastic Sticker Maker comes with everything you need to make over 70 stickers your parents help them set up. Fantastic Color Surprise! Fantastic Color Surprise Flowers! Wow, they turn purple! Fantastic Color Surprise! Made by me! Fantastic Flowers Color Surprise Set and Refills, each sold separately. Like I told you before, I've got nothing, you nosy git! What are you daft? Mm, charming, as always. Get me the log, Hack. No, no. That's what Slash over been. there! Hack over here! Blue. Hack and Slash, we subservient! And me. There's whatever the log. An old unformat command. Really, Mr. Pearson, do you always lie to me? 
It must have slipped my memory. Uh, sir. Go out into the dump and retrieve that command. <laughs> As for our host, why don't you show Mr. Pearson how I feel about his general dishonesty? Oh, go ahead, do your worst. It'll take more than that to break me, you ruddy big viral git. Oh boy, I hope oh, we that's find not it. it. Oh, well, well, how no, about this? No, no, that's not oh, it. Oh, oh, it. No, it's nice. No. A reward to the one who finds it. I found it, sir. Yes, indeed, it was me. Oh, me. Excellent. See if it will still hold a charge. Ready. Oh, power. You bet. Very good. Now for your reward. Hack. Fully functional. How convenient. Bring it to me. You'd like a little more room. Excuse me, it's dark. I cannot see. Stretch out. You're close to me. Hi, trash diggers. Who's, Who's that? that? I know garbage like you belongs in the dump, but why don't you quit bugging old man Pearson? Bob? It's Bob. That sounds like him. Get him! Uh-oh. Time to jam. <laughs> Hope they're insured. Be there. Nice, touch me. Hey, nice doggy. Hey, don't, don't touch, touch that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. What? No. Hey, flapping Jack. I thought I told you to get lost. Hey, Just um, slap. Nice. Slash. Oh. Slash. Yeah, I know. So, how's that? You're not getting any medals till you cut and paste me out of this, lad. An extraordinary performance, gentlemen. Not only did you let Bob make fools of us all, but do I understand correctly that you let a dog eat my unformat command? Sorry, boss. We'll get the dog now. Yes, we will. Right oh, away. Boy. No, no. My way is so much easier. Which way? Is that? Enzo. Get me the boy. Bet you can't guess where I just came from. Ah, Monsieur Bob. Par le moindre idée. But you do have a distinctive aroma. How does one put it delicately? You stink. <laughs> well, that explains the rumor that you turned hack and slash into scrap over at the dump. Yeah, just giving Megabyte's goons a little incentive to leave old man Pearson alone. Oh, <gasps> 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 
Getting sick for one? Hmm. I'm sorry, but you have no reservation. Go on, shoot. Dépêchez-vous. Cecil, there's something wrong with him. He never comes inside. Go ahead. He won't bite. Yeah, right. What's wrong with him? I don't know. What's the problem, boy? Maybe it's something he ate. Really? What was your first clue, Doctor? Glitch. Viewer scope. He swallowed an old sector blanking command. He was trying to unformat his stomach. Glitch. Med gun. A little puppy peptic. That's the best I can do. We'll just have to hope he can uh, stomach that thing. Monsieur, this is a fine dining establishment, not a veterinary hospital. Yeah, come on, boy. Let's go outside. When you're ready. Frisket won't listen to anybody but Enzo. Where is he, anyway? He's due home from school any nanosecond. Frisket, go find Enzo, boy. Go on. Go find Enzo. Hey, Frisket. What's wrong, fella? You not feeling well? Hey, let me go, metalheads! out of him before it deteriorates any further. Hey, let him go! I'll erase every last one of you if you hurt him! <laughs> hurt is not the word, child. Take him to the tank.
Saturday, it's a scrumptious blast from the past. On we go. It's an ABC movie treat. All of my dreams become reality. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Saturday on ABC. Back to the show. Enzo and Frisket? Yeah. Worried about them? They should have been here microseconds ago. to the last. Very admirable. Open him. Now. Open him? As an operate? No! No! The boy doesn't need to see this. He served his purpose. Dump him at the city limits. Can't I at least say goodbye? Well... No. Stop! You can't! I'm sure you'll find something else to play with. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. Hurry, the signal is growing weak. Hey, look at this. Oh, what is it? Hey. Up and down, up hey. and down. Hey, hey, can you go walk the walk? Play with this. Yes! Reactivate the energy field. Must I do everything myself? <laughs> What a batch of dip switches! After them! This way!
Connects Roller Coaster. Connects Trucking Company. Connects Rubber Band Racers. Connects, the color-coded construction set that keeps on growing. Sets sold separately. Workshop. Hi, Jan. Hi, Bernice. What you making, Ronald? A cheeseburger Happy Meal. Oh. For each of you. That's my favorite. Mine, too. <laughs> you might want to take yours out of the box. <laughs> In case you haven't heard, there's a lot of work going on at McDonald's. Because right now, you can get these four moving, lifting Tonka trucks. <laughs> One with every Tonka Cabbage Patch Happy Meal you buy. Sounds like a really good time. Secrets. Keepin's Puff hides my special things safe inside. I turn the secret key and open wide. A gift for me. Wow. Secret Keepin's Puff hides pictures, rings, special things from home. Dad, only I have the key. Secret Keepin's Puff hides my special things safe inside. I love the Secret Keepin's Puff. Secret Keepin's Puffs, Sweetheart, Star, and Posey sold separately, each with key and bracelet. Stop! Stop, evildoers! Introducing Super Stretchy Superhero Stretch Armstrong! Yes, Stretch Armstrong! Now stretching fun as far as it will go! He bends, he stretches, he even ties in knots, but always returns to his original shape! How does he do that? No one can figure that out! Boom! Stretch Armstrong, now a new smaller action figure sizes, each sold separately. <laughs> They say party's cool. They say it's a great high. They say everybody does it. They say they're your friends. They're pulling your strings. It sure would be awful if something were to happen to them, huh? Where did they go? They're at the power controls. Activate emergency lighting. Go that way. I'll slip around behind them. Now we have them. <laughs> Uh-oh. Crowd up ahead. This way. Look at all the cool stuff!
I want my command, Kerr. underlings for just such an occasion. Hack! Slash! Oh, oh no. come on, Fuzz! I have a headache! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> boss! <sighs> What are you waiting for? Ooh, Frisket! Frisket! Follow me! You can do it, boy! Just slide down! Or just jump. <laughs> You're feeling better, aren't you, boy? Anzo, are you okay? Yeah, we were coming to save you. From what? From Megabyte. What happened? Oh, nothing. Me and good old Frisket here just kicked Megabyte's bitmap. That's all. Looks like we owe you one, boy. Uh, right. Uh, good dog. No, great dog. We should follow him. We should follow him, yeah. And we should get the command, yeah. We will we will, we will not fail him. Right. Never mind. I think I've already found it. Someone delete that. And clean up this place. Uh-oh! I think he beats us. After these messages, we'll be right back. The van to Super Van City. One, two, three, four! You can get into town. Super Van City. Just fold it on down. Micro machines taking over the place. With real racing dragsters ready to race. Working bridges in an airport, too. A car wash serving you. Super Van City. Micro machines. The Micro Machine Super Van City. You put it together. Vehicle collection sold separately. Now, from Disney's movie adventure, The Lion King. There's Simba. He really roars. Simba and Nala. They're so cute together. They're kissing sweetheart cubs. And each jungle friend baby has a surprise. Watch baby Nala and her friends go wild. It's a jungle out there. Disney's The Lion King, Roaring Simba, Sweetheart Cubs, Jungle Friend Babies, Jungle Playground, and other plush toys sold separately. Tomorrow, Josh gets stuck in an elevator with a pregnant lady and her baby wants out. Is Josh ready to deliver a child? Don't miss on our own. Coming up, Mr. Bumpy's gonna sock it to you. Next on Bump in the Night. This is ABC. You want a taste you can't resist? There's no bad chip. You can pop like this. Yeah, once you start, there's no stopping. So many ways to get Pringles popping. Uh, the Pringles can't stop. Uh, the Pringles can't stop. You got the snack, you got the bunch. For a whole lot of taste of the Pringles crunch. You got the duck bill lizard too. Only Pringles rings taste like this to you. Uh, the Pringles can't stop. Pop the Pringles can't So pop the can for fresh hot chips. Nothing like Pringles crush your lips. Yeah, what? Chicago watches Jeopardy, right here on Channel 7. Now 
I'm a wild green guy living under the bed. I gobble up the sock before you turn your head. Like a boat to life. I make a hard jump. My name is Mr. Bumpy. I go bump, 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 yeah, bump. Bump, bump, bumpity, bump. Bump, bump, bumpity, yeah. He goes a hundred miles an hour. He's green dynamite. His name is Mr. Bumpy. He's a summer night. It's Bumpy's Squishy. He's my very best pal. Bump with Molly. She's my favorite gal. Bump with Cosmic Monster and Destructo too. But those guys don't bother Bumpy. He knows what to do. Say it, bump. Bump, bump. Everybody bump, 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 b
I gonna do now, Squishmeister? I am but a slave to my urges. I know. Maybe what you need is a trip someplace where you won't be tempted, hmm? Oh, where can I possibly go? Where there are no dirty socks? Socks are common to all modern civilizations, you know. I'll take you to the moon. You'll never find a sock there. Thanks, Squisherino. You're pretty smart for a guy who lives in the bathroom. Three, two, one, blast off! Oh, Squish, did you fill the tanks with regular old decal? It seems we're carrying too much weight, but I calculated to the gallon. Wonder how they got there. <laughs> I guess we were wrong. The moon does have socks. There, I've locked away all of the socks. You can't eat what you can't get to. Are you sure this is going to work? You see, I've been so weak. Have I ever let you down, Mr. Bubby? No. You're the truest, bluest buddy a monster could have. And you know me better than I know myself. Problem solved. There's only one key, and I've got it. Squish. You gotta promise not to give me that key, no matter how much I beg. I cross my heart and hope to congeal. Thanks for your help, tough guy. Now, give me the key to show you trust me. Mm -mm. Sorry, Mr. Bumpy, but no can do. I said, <laughs> I want the key, and I want it now. But, but, but I made a promise to you, and the friend never goes back on his... Long time no see, Mr. Bumpy. So, who do you pick for my personal favorite sporting event, the Super Bowl? I want that. Now there's no way you'll ever get into the safe. That's what you think. Okay, mm hmm All right, now, I always welcome a new perspective on things, Mr. Bumpy, but, um, you can let me down now. Please. <laughs> Not until I get that key! Now, top it up! <laughs> Don't do it, Mr. Bumpy! Are those socks more important than our friendship? Yep. I placed a portable matter antimatter thermite device I bought at the local mini mart inside that safe because I knew Mr. Bumpy couldn't help himself. <laughs> After all, he is my best friend. I'm so proud of you, Mr. Bumpy. You haven't eaten a sock for 24 whole hours. Nothing I couldn't do without willpower. And a little help from a good friend. family says hundreds of things, and their conversations change as you move them onto different magic discs. This room is a mess. I'll clean it with Spot. <laughs> Let's turn the light on. I'll turn on the water. Time for dinner. I'll help. <laughs> the Talking Family Dollhouse. The Talking Family Dollhouse comes complete with furniture and Talking Family. Batteries not included. This holiday season, don't you wish your stockings were stuffed with Tim Burton's smash hit, The Nightmare Before Christmas? Eureka! Jack Skellington's discovered the magic of Christmas. Oh! 
And now he's turning the holiday world upside down. Nice work, Bone Daddy. It's going to be the weirdest holiday ever. Surprised, aren't you? And won't your parents be surprised? What did Santa bring you, honey? It's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, rated PG. Now, hold up. You trying to tell me that smoking a little weed is going to mess with my coordination? Get off it. Today, I got a real singer for you. For chills, thrills, and spine-tingling stories. Tales from the Crypt Keeper, today, here on ABC. Sunday, when Josh is stuck with a pregnant lady, can he deliver her baby? I took one shop instead, but I'm your man if you ever need a bookshelf. It's all our own, Sunday on ABC. Comfort doll extraordinaire. Who needs comforting? Must have comfort. Everybody? Good thing I take credit cards. With every squeeze, I feel the awesome power of comfort surging through my very being. Thank you, Molly Cottle. Mm, that's me? Must have got up under the wrong side of the bed. <gasps> Squish bud, you look worse than I do. Hmm, I got up on the wrong side of the bowl. Hello, Mr. Bumpy. Greetings, Squishington. Look what I got. Stray sock holes. Part of a comforting and nutritious meal. And moisturizing cream for smoother, softer head pedals. Oh, I am so full of comfort, I could scream. <laughs> Who was that patchwork comforter? Yellow Bunny, why do you cower so? The closet's growling at me. Fear not. It's only that mean old closet monster. He's no match for me. I can comfort anything. I must go to him. Ah, that hit the spot. I feel like a new monster. <laughs> hey, Molly! Molly! Squishington! Where's Molly? Hmm? Oh, probably off comforting somewhere. Hey, Molly! Yo! Malibus Maximus! Look at that fabric. It belongs to Molly. <gasps> All right, Bunny. What have you done with her? Who are you working for? Where were you on November 23rd, 1962? Should I give her the sludge treatment? No, I'll talk. She went into the closet to comfort the uncomfortable closet monster. Closet monster. Oh, closet monster. Where? I assure you, my intentions are purely comforting. There you are. How do you do? My name... <laughs> Might have to put in some overtime on this. <laughs> what do you know? We match. Soulmates in patchwork. Oh, you poor, sweet, gentle, dainty, misunderstood monster. A little comfort will tame you. A monster, shake hands. Play dead. So tell me about yourself. How was your childhood? What were you like as a baby monster? Mm? <laughs> Have we rescued Molly Cuddle yet? Not yet. First, we gotta make sure this trap will stop the closet monster in case he decides to come after us. There. When the door shuts, the bowling ball ought to roll down and nail him right here. It's working, Mr. Bumpy! Huh? Hello? What was that? <laughs> oh, oh, easy, 
boy. Here, 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 here. Let me take a look. Just a nasty old bump. I'll have it comforted in no time. <laughs> by trying to eat me. Wait, that's it! No wonder I can't comfort you. You're hungry. Be right back. Don't go away. Good. The trap's reset. And now that we know it works, all we gotta do is rescue my... <laughs> a little milky milk to wash it down? Bet you're feeling more comforted now, huh? Uh-oh! Tommy Trouble, don't worry. I know just the thing. Nothing like flat ginger ale and castor oil to cure gastric indigestion. This trap's foolproof! Guaranteed to stop any closet monster fool enough to mess with us! Now we can rescue Molly! But aren't we gonna test it? You're right, Mr. Pumpy. It didn't need to be tested. Down, boy! You'll overtax your fabric resistance! I know I can handle him, but how? Of course! Music soothes the savage beast. rock a -bye monster in the big closet. When the toys fall, you'll be kabonked on your head. When the clothes mildew, you'll get all moldy. Then you'll be comforted and totally grody. What was that? You think? Could it be? What if... Molly! Bumpy! No! Hereby pronounce this closet monster to be comforted. Fear not, Molly! I come to rescue you! Me too. Bobby! Squishy just no! Closet monster, you rapscallion! I, I've got a pillow, and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> oh, it's hopeless now, hopeless! And I was so close to being eaten. Good thing we came when we did, and now that we're here, let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> What's first, Squishington? Um, okay, as soon as door A closes, Bowling Ball B swings in! <laughs> He's still coming, Squishington! What's next? What's next? Oh, uh, the box! Our only chance! I hope you're right, Mr. Puppy! Wait! Simon says, look up! Look down! Look on top of the table! Eat starch and stiffen, you bad monster, you! Number one, we did it! You did it all right. You ruined my efforts to comfort the closet monster. <laughs> <laughs>
comfort the closet monster? Are you kidding? You can't do that! Oh, he's right, Miss Molly. In the latest poll, three out of five comfort dolls agree. Give me a break. Didn't you see the opening scene? I'm a comfort doll extraordinaire. I can comfort anything, and that includes closet monsters. But, 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 but Molly! Don't, but, 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 Molly me. Look, just leave me alone, okay? I've had a bad day. Come on, Bumpy. I know a good wallowing spot if you're in the mood. We're alone now. My friends just don't understand. You and I, we've bonded. As soon as you're free, we'll go to them. Won't they be in for a surprise? <laughs> then again, maybe I'll be eating my razor-sharp teeth. Help! Boy, the nerve of that comfort dog. <laughs> I wouldn't help her now if she was being eaten by razor-sharp teeth. Help! I'm being eaten by razor-sharp teeth! Help! How could I ever hope to comfort a mouth like that? Hang on, Molly! Bumpy! Don't you worry, I got you! You can jump! Come on! Yeah. Did it! He's trapped! Of course, all this was my fault. <laughs> You're right! Rock-a-bye, monster, in the big closet. When the toys fall, you'll be kabonked on your head. Now you can have your own Lion King, Talking Simba. You're so cute, Simba. He said things from the movie when he squeezed his paw. I'm going to be king. You are? But there's something you have to learn. Pull his tail. Roar. I'm working on my roar. Wow, he is going to be king. But what about us? Give him a hug. We'll always be together. Disney's The Lion King, Talking Simba says lines from the movie when you squeeze him in five places. It's Series 2 of Magic Works. No fail magic you can master in minutes. Once a skeleton is destroyed, it's destroyed forever. Not with severed skeleton. Mm -hmm. A solid skeleton broken into three pieces. Hmm. I put them back into the magical tomb, place a sword in the middle, and the skeleton is whole. Unbelievable! That's impossible. <laughs> You're right, that's magic. Severed skeleton comes with everything you see here. Other tricks in Series 2 of Magic Works sold separately. When you got Play-Doh, whoa! Anything goes. It's a Play-Doh cooking show. We're making cookies. Play-Doh cookie love and oven makes cookies like a pro. Baking lots of cookies out of Play-Doh. Pop them in the oven, bake them just so. When the timer goes off, cookies Play-Doh. Well, Play-Doh's cookie love and oven comes with everything you need. Cookies? Play-Doh cookie. Delicious. Anything goes, whoa! With Play-Doh. Play-Doh cookie love and oven comes with everything you see here. Six-pack and two-pack sold separately. Stop, evildoers! Stretch Armstrong, I will destroy you! Introducing Vac-Man, Stretch Armstrong's arch-enemy! Use the super-sucking Vac-Bump to turn him into a mutating monster! Then stretch him to villainous proportions! He stays that way until you press his cybernetic button! But will this be the end of Stretch Armstrong? Back attack! Oh, stay tuned! Vac-Man and Stretch Armstrong, sold separately from Cat Toys, who else? It's a perfect place to hear the music play Karaoke Karaoke You can sing a song or dance a night away Karaoke Karaoke Everything is okay dokey at the Karaoke Cafe Everybody 
it feels bad sometimes Like you're down in the mud All covered with slime Like you're feeling real lost With no one to care And you reach out for help But there's nobody there That's the time you need something To make you feel better To chase away the rain So you don't get wetter Well, I know the answer When the going gets tough Just stick with Molly Cause I got the right stuff To make you feel better Yeah, I know the thing Gonna tell you about it now In the song I sing To help you get out of that hole You dug Well, everybody can use a hug You need a hug Whether you're a boy or a bumpy monster or a ragdoll toy When you feel so rotten and you've had enough When you feel overflowing with yucky stuff Well, every single body can use a good friend We'll see them on through to the bitter end Yeah, mothers and fathers, women and men Great big grown-ups and little children All need one thing every now and then So listen to me and I'll sing it again To help you get up off that dusty rug Well, everybody can use a hug You need a hug Don't make a glad thing feel more glad So if you've got a pal who's moving away Just give him a hug on moving day If your sister's been crying, well just go get her And give her a hug, it'll make her feel better When things go wrong all across the nation I offer this thought for your consideration A real cool tool for your utilization Hugs, what a fine sensation From the president to a weird looking bug Everybody can use a hug You need a hug This holiday season, Tim Allen is Santa. Freeze, fat boy! And Santa's in trouble. Now it's up to the elves. Elves. Attitude. To get Christmas rolling in America's number one comedy. The Santa Claus, rated PG, now play. Sound the trumpets. For the biggest holiday treat of all, The Lion King is back in theaters. It's your chance to see your favorite movie one more time. Do it again. Walt Disney Pictures' The Lion King, rated G. Now playing at a theater near you. Starlight Motorhome has a tent with glow-in-the-dark stars. You put it together. Cap Doll's not included. Hi, I'm Dudley. Do you know what to do if you accidentally lose a tooth? If the tooth is dirty, rinse it gently in running water. Don't scrub it. Have a grown-up put the tooth carefully back into the socket. Or place the tooth in a cup of milk or water and have an adult take you to the dentist within 30 minutes if you can. If you do this, there's a good chance the dentist can save your tooth. Tomorrow, what nutty secret lurks behind your neighbor's door? <laughs> Get a glimpse when Bob Saget hosts America's Funniest Home Videos. Now, stay tuned as two boys discover that magic beans can create giant problems on Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Coming up next... This is ABC. Cookie crisp, cookie crisp, Merry Cookie Crisp. Little cookies, lots of chips that you can't resist. Cookie crook and chip in a one dog open sleigh. Crashing through the snow, laughing all the way. <laughs> Bells on cops out free. They're not very bright, but being that it's Christmas time, I'll give them some tonight. Cookie crisp.
this with the merry part of this complete breakfast. Now there's a Marvel Spider-Man trading card. Free inside specially marked boxes of Cookie Crisp. Wheel of Fortune, tonight at 6.30 on 7. Each sold separately. Flown Shaper sold separately from Mattel. My pretty Topsy Tail. With your Topsy Tail and brush. Cool. A zillion styles to do. Wow. It's fun and easy too. Your hair is pink. Pretty. Topsy Tail. Braided. Topsy Tail. Decorated. I love you. The longest, softest hair I know. All the way down to your toes. She comes with her own special Topsy Tail. And all this. Topsy Tail. Bow it. Topsy Tail. Show it. You're beautiful. My pretty Topsy Tail. My Pretty Topsy Tail comes in sparkle fashion, ribbons, bows, barrettes, and a special Topsy Tail. Bonjour, boils and ghouls. Welcome to Ghoulies Gastronomique Restaurant. Casket for two. <laughs> I'll be with you in one moment. Sorry for the wait. Oh well, I guess I won't be getting a tip from those deadbeats. <laughs> Who do I have to turn into a frog to get some service around here? Oh no! Yes. The doggy bagging chow hound Hagen Ooh, witch! I'm so hungry I could eat a hearse. Do you serve stuffed bats here? We serve anybody. What would you like? How about a new waiter? Well? You're the waiter, so wait. I do have other customers. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Catch of the day. Tonight we have a tasty gut-wrenching special, a fiendish fable guaranteed to make your bile bubble. <laughs> it's a scary tale about two starving brothers whose monstrous hunger leads them into a giant pickle. I call it Chuck and Melvin and the Beanstalker. <laughs> It means certain death to anyone who dares enter the thick, dark forest, and we're doing it for the second time! Oh, stop being such a coward, Melvin! Ah! What? Bags! Under my eyes! I look so drawn and tired and... and... hungry! If I don't get something to eat soon, Melvin, my looks will be destroyed! Why, I'll start to look like... like... you! Well, we are twins. Not identical! 
I don't care how frightened you are, Melvin. We've got to go through the dank Thark forest and find the cage of the traitor. That's the cave of the traitor, Chuck. And it's... Cage, cave, whatever. We'll find the traitor and we'll trade for food. Food, Melvin. Food. <laughs> I'm just as hungry as you are, but I've heard the traitor is not to be trusted. That he will demand an inhumanly high price for... I don't care what he wants. Why, I'd trade my soul for... for... soul. Filet of soul dripping in butter with asparagus and a cream sauce. So, lead on, Melvin, through the thick darn forest. And fear not. Why, Splendor and I could cross through this forest in our sleep. Sure, uh, just like last time. Sleep, faint with hunger. Yes, too weak to keep my eyes. Sleep. <gasps> I'll lead you through the forest. I'll deal with the various horrifying monsters who want to tear us limb from limb. You two sleep. I'll wake you up when we're through, just like last time. Chuck! Wake up, Chuck! Oh. Ah! Melvin! You look... terrible! Ah, oh, sorry to startle you. I should say so! You might at least have taken a bath and changed your clothes before you woke us up. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Well, here we are. Is that... That's right, the cave of the traitor. How can we... How can we be sure we have the right place? This is the place. Well, go ahead, Melvin. Knock. No, I think you should knock. Oh, Melvin, what difference does it make? Who knocks? No difference. So go ahead. Knock. No, you knock. You knock. No. No need to knock. Go ahead, Melvin. Speak to him. Speak! Oh, 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 you see, Mr. Trader, sir, we, uh, we're very hungry. Very hungry? Yes, and uh, we've come to trade for food. And what do you have to offer in trade? <laughs> That's very clever. You must be a ventilator. That is, a ventriloquilt maker. Get on with it! Get on with it, Melvin. I just tore something. Ah. What is this? Well, it's uh, pepper, salt, basil, coriander, nutmeg, various spices. You know, uh, condiments. Condiments? I don't want your stinking condiments! He doesn't want the condiments, Melvin. But that's all we have. Everyone has something that he values over all else. Something that is more important to him than all the wealth in the world. You think that I would part with my own brother, my own flesh and blood for a, a large garden salad with calorie-wise dressing? So that skin is a man. It's the horse flesh I'm interested in. You mean splendor? Never, never. Not even for a bag of beans. And when I get you back, splendor, why we'll floss? We'll floss like we've never flossed before. Are they done yet? Are the beans done yet? Not quite yet, but. How much longer? Just a few. Give me those beans! <laughs> These beans taste terrible. I've been trying to tell you I don't think we're supposed to eat them. The trader said they were magic beans. Then maybe they need a little more pepper. Oh! Oh, 
could you do this, Melvin? How could you trade my horse, my beloved Splendor, for a bag of beans? And bad beans at that. They're magic beans. They're bad beans, Melvin. Bad beans, bad beans, bad beans. Oh, Melvin. I'll never see Splendor again. We'll never again gamble in the grass. Oh, no more Splendor in the grass. <laughs> Magic Tea Party, and it's full of colorful surprises. Pour clear water from the teapot, and... Looks like pink tea! Dip the spreading knife in water, and... Looks like jam for crackers. Lovely party! Magic Tea Party! The Magic Tea Party comes with everything here. Stop, evildoers! Stretch Armstrong, I will destroy you! Introducing Vac-Man, Stretch Armstrong's arch-enemy. Use the super-sucking vac pump to turn him into a mutating monster, then stretch him to villainous proportions. He stays that way until you press his cybernetic button. But will this be the end of Stretch Armstrong? Back attack! Oh, stay tuned. Vac-Man and Stretch Armstrong, sold separately from Cat Toys. Who else? Bugs and his pals are hard at work. This is a job for Super Puss. Making Saturdays unbelievable. Meet me. The Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show today. Saturday, it's a scrumptious blast from the past. On we go. It's an ABC movie treat. All of my dreams become realities. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Saturday on ABC. And now, back to the show. Yes, it's true. I am quite incredibly magnificent looking, even first thing in the morning. <laughs> Look, Chuck. <gasps> it's a box team. Beanstalk. Maybe those beans really were magic. Oh, of course they were. I remember reading stories about this when I was a boy. I read them to you. There's something about gold. Something golden at the top of the beefsteak. Beanstalk. There's something golden at the top of that thing. A golden egg, a golden bird, a golden piano. A golden harp. I remember now, a golden harp. That's right, but the story also told of a giant. A giant golden harp. Do you know what I could trade a giant golden harp for? Food? Food, Melvin, food. Why? I could get a whole supermarket. A chain of supermarkets. No, I could get a chain of supermarkets. I'll call them charming markets. And I'll never go hungry again. <clears throat> but what about the giant? What? The giant! Giant what? Never mind. Uh, oh. oh, I had no... I had no idea climbing up one of these, 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 uh, thingies was such hard work. Me neither. Oh, I can't be carried one more step. I've got to rest, Melvin. I don't think we'd better stop now, Chuck. Go away. Forty winks. No more. <laughs> Melvin, don't you ever do that again. Look! What a giant house! Wonder who lives there? A giant! It sure is! But I wonder who lives there? Uh... Well, go ahead, Melvin. You slip first. No, I think you should slip first. What difference does it make who slip? <laughs> you lead the way.
away this time, Melvin. <gasps> Wonder what's making that noise. It's like a giant rumble. <gasps> what do you watch where you're going, Melvin? You led me right into that tree. That's not a tree. It's a footstool. A giant footstool. <laughs> and a giant foot. It's a, a giant why didn't you tell me there was going to be a giant here, Melvin? Surprise. I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life. Beautiful? He's ugly. Big time ugly. But look, Melvin, look. On his lips and chin, huge, gigantic crumbs. Could be potato chips, could be garlic bread, could be carrot cake. Could be eczema. Let me go. Get your own crumbs. Say, let sleeping giants nap. Ah! Look, the golden heart. Jack, quiet. <laughs> I must have that heart. Okay, but quietly. What's wrong with this door? It's stuck. It's locked, Jack. Well, of course it's locked. It's locked! It's locked! Why is it locked? <laughs> Find me the key, Melvin. Key equals heart. Heart equals food. I must have the food! <gasps> Okay, uh, uh. My key. My dear precious key. <gasps> uh oh. This time, Tony and I are ready. Go to the back end and then shoot. That away. Winners practice hard and eat smart, like this complete breakfast, including the sweet crunch of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They are great. Can I play? I don't know. Can you? Here it goes. Mold and Mash comes with everything you see here. Sparkling six packs sold separately. My pretty Topsy Tail, with your Topsy Tail and Brush. Cool. A zillion styles to do. Wow. It's fun and easy too. Your hair is pink. Pretty. Topsy Tail. Braided. Topsy Tail. Decorated. I love you. The longest, softest hair I know. All the way down to your toes. She comes with her own special Topsy Tail and all this. Topsy Tail. Bow it. Topsy Tail. Show it. You're beautiful. My pretty Topsy Tail. My Pretty Topsy Tail comes with sparkle fashion, ribbons, bows, barrettes, and a special Topsy Tail. <laughs> Must be something in the water. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Elvin, give me a hand! No, Jack, quiet! The giant! Oh, never mind the giant! Nothing will wake up that big slob! Just you, you silly cat. 
go play in the basement while I <laughs> go up there for a nap. The giant's gone and so's the cat! It just doesn't get any better than this. Have you got it? I got it. Have you got it? I got it. Good. <clears throat> Is everything all right, Melvin? Anything broken? Uh, uh, I think I'm okay. Not you, Melvin. The heart. It looks all right. I'm so relieved. It's too heavy, Chuck. We'll never get it out of here. Why, we need a... A, a horse? Splendor! Oh, when I found out Melvin had traded you for a bag of bad beans, I was so upset. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, bad Melvin. Bad, bad Melvin. You two have a very strange relationship. But, but, but we left him with the traitor. Never mind that, Melvin. Let's go. This way. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Traitor, sir. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Big for you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should have done that, Chuck. <laughs> he's laughing, Melvin. That's good. But he's grown, Melvin. That's not so good. And he's green. He's giant. He's green. <laughs> But not exactly jolly. What? What is he? Spectres, ogres, mutants. Uh oh. What? Just as I thought. He's a bean stalker. Melvin, by chance, what do bean stalkers eat? Beans. Woo! That's a relief. Human beans. Huh? We forgot Splendor! Go save him! Sure thing, Chuck! And don't forget the harp! Horse, harp! Hey! Wait a minute! Uh. Mm. Mm. Uh. Uh. Where's the harp, Melvin? <laughs> That's it? Wait? We taste much better with a few condiments. Condiments? Yes, you know, some, some basil or garlic salt or, or pepper. Mm. Uh, Melvin, I don't think I've ever actually seen anybody explode from a sneeze before. Me neither. <laughs> Together again! It just doesn't get any better than this. Splendor! What's wrong, boy? Huh? Chuck, look! They're everywhere! Melvin, no room! <laughs> Whoa! Melvin, it's gone! The beanstalk's gone! You're all right! Oh, a 
the herbs all right. I'm all right too, thanks. <gasps> Wait a minute. This harp isn't all right. It isn't gold. It's just cheap wood. It was just painted gold. And with watercolors. Bad harp, bad harp, bad harp. Jack! I can't believe you made me go through all this for a bad harp. Me? This is the end of the line, Melvin. I'm tired of looking after you and getting nothing but trouble for it. Hey, the springs are gold. <laughs> I'm not coming back for you this time, Melvin. That's okay. A fortune in gold strings. <laughs> I'd have to buy a, a whole chain of supermarkets. Melvin Markets. <laughs> I mean it, Melvin! Just as Melvin had taken as much as he could stomach, Chuck got his just desserts. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder if the old Badlax is feeling the pinch. Got any mints? How about a Hexpresso? Make it double bubble toil and teacap. <laughs> so until next time, Crypt Kitties. Bon appetit. <laughs> You're going to be trying the frog's legs! Creepy! After these classes, we'll be right back. When you got Play-Doh, whoa! Anything goes. It's a Play-Doh cooking show. We're making cookies! Play-Doh cookie loving oven makes cookies like a pro. Baking lots of cookies out of Play-Doh. Cookie Love and Oven comes with everything you need. Cookies? Play-Doh cookies! Delicious! Anything goes! Whoa! With Play-Doh! Play-Doh Cookie Love and Oven comes with everything you see here. Six-pack and two-pack sold separately. Wow! Hey, Ron gave me a workshop! Huh. Hi, Jan. Hi, Bernice. What you making, Ronald? A cheeseburger Happy Meal! Oh! For each of you. That's my favorite! Mine, too! <laughs> you might want to take yours out of the box. <laughs> In case you haven't heard, there's a lot of work going on at McDonald's. Because right now, you can get these four moving, lifting Tonka trucks. One with every Tonka Cabbage Patch Happy Meal you buy. Sounds like a really good time. Don't pout. Check it out. Zach's going to show you what work's about. Listen up, children, if you want to know what tomorrow will bring and where you will go. Gotta find your dreams and goals time to pick your schemes and roles make a choice jack can't lie on your back all day no way no way no way make a choice jill can't lie on the hill all day no way no way no way you both can make choices about a career in any old field without any fear you can be what you want it becomes very clear when you believe in yourself and take time to prepare let's think about a career we can both be an engineer or learn about the atmosphere oh hit the road zach they've got the knack it's clear they're on the right track to a career Tomorrow, Josh gets stuck in an elevator with a pregnant lady and her baby wants out. Is Josh ready to deliver a child? Don't miss on our own. Coming up, Bugs, Tweety, and the rest of the Looney Tunes gang are next on the Bugs and Tweety Show. This is ABC. Stop, evildoers. Stretch Armstrong, I will destroy you. Introducing Batman, Stretch Armstrong's arch enemy. Use the super sucking back pump to turn him into a mutating monster. Then stretch him to villainous proportions. 
he stays that way until you press his cybernetic button. But will this be the end of Stretch Armstrong? Stay tuned. Oh. Batman Stretch Armstrong's arch enemy from Cap Toys. Who else? Chicago watches Jeopardy right here on Channel 7. As your body grows big, the mind must flower. It's great to learn, because knowledge is power. It's Schoolhouse Rocket, a ship off the block, on your favorite Schoolhouse, Schoolhouse Rocket. But my daily ukulele playing ain't gonna get me far I need a guitar, an amp, and some quadraphonics And several hundred dollars worth of electronics If I'm ever gonna get to be a country western star Gotta get me some dollars and cents Dollars and cents Them greenback bills with the pictures of the presidents Now I hear you squawking, Miss Becky Sue Why don't you drop by the bank and I'll explain to you how you can make more dollars if you use a little common sense. Chill out, young lady, no need to fret. Although you can't afford to buy that new equipment yet, you got a couple hundred bucks saved up in your birthday stash. Why not deposit them dollars in the bank instead? Then at the end of the year you come out way ahead because the bank will pay you money in exchange for the use of your cash. And that's called interest. You're making money that way, and you can buy that gear about a year from today. Saving sounds mighty nifty, Mr. Banker, dude. You know I'd like to be thrifty, but I ain't in the mood. I'm inspired, and I'm writing me a brand new country song. I got a lot of country western in my blood, like Reba and Loretta and Winona Judd. Gotta get me that equipment, and I ain't about to wait too long. Gotta get me some dollars and cents, dollars and cents. With the pictures of the presidents. So please, Mr. Banker, won't you tell me how I can get my mitts on some money right now? Cause waiting for my dollars really doesn't seem to make much sense. Why, sure, Becky Sue, I can give you a hand. I can lend you the money, but you must understand. When you borrow from the bank, then you gotta pay it back on time. And when you're done paying back every dollar that's due, you will find you paid them back a little extra, too. For every dollar you borrow, you gotta pay the bank a dollar and a dime. Again, that's interest, and it's just a fee. You pay to use the money that you borrow from me. We're talking about dollars and cents, dollars and cents. Of oh, them greenback bills with the pictures of the presidents. Since life is one experience that spares us no expense, we gotta use them dollars with a little bit of common sense. We gotta use them dollars with a little bit of common sense. <laughs> Are you sure Dolly Parton started this way? I'd have my very own personal remote. If you don't like what you're watching, Lisa, leave your brother. Change the channel. Have a Big Mac and fries, dear. Getting dressed for school would be fun. <laughs> Cleaning my room would be a snap. Cool. And I wouldn't mind seeing my Aunt Nina so much. Oh, beauty. Mute button. Lisa, do your homework. How about a nice hot apple pie, dear? Wow. Hey, it could happen. Stay tuned for College Football, next. This is ABC. Chicago watches Jeopardy, right here on Channel 7. If you got a lot of people to shop for, but you don't got a lot of time, don't go crazy. Go to Best Buy, because we make shopping easier. We give you honest answers to your questions, we help you find what you're looking for, and we put all our products on the shelf so it's easy to find what you want, grab it, and go. Like Game Boy with Legend of Zelda software for just $42.96, and get no payments and no interest for six months on everything. That's convenient shopping. That's Best Buy. Sega presents one champion of good. 
one pawn of evil. It's Sonic and Knuckles. Not only is it the greatest Sonic game ever, it also comes with lock-on technology. Plug in Sonic 2 and use Knuckles to play in a whole new way. Plug in Sonic 3 for 34 megs of power, new worlds, and surprise endings. Sonic and Knuckles with lock-on technology, only on Sega Genesis. Sonic and Knuckles, other game cartridges, and Sega Genesis, each sold separately.